Howdy. Hope you're having a productive Saturday. I am. We're like cleaning like crazy. And next next month or at the end of not this week, but the following week we're gonna get a new storage unit, hopefully. And be able to clean everything out. It's so exciting. Like I wanna move soon, so <laughs> Isaac, okay. But I wanted well, I to talk, I was going to do a story time, but I'm deciding to show you my results on my, um, my progress to that I've realized, um, that I've gotten. <laughs> and sometimes it's not just the weight you lose. Like, if you can feel good in your, like, clothes and your jeans and stuff, honestly, that's better in some ways than just the weight and the scale. But yeah, it's at 115 point something. I forget exactly what it said, but I think 115.9 or something, or 7. But, so I'm keeping off by myself. I haven't been doing Dr. Bailey again, because he only does it now once a month. So, I have to wait till like, I have to wait till Monday. Then I get back on that. But I've been just eating healthier, and I realize I have to cut on my sugar. Because... It does not allow me to go to sleep. So, yeah, I'm gonna start not eating as much sugar, no cookies, no nothing. Except my short, like my Lorna Dune shortbread. I'll allow myself that. But I wanted to show you my results based on clothes over the certain amount, like a couple of years or something. Um, I actually have bigger ones than these, but I'm just gonna focus on these right now. And. These are three of the pairs that I had before I have this. Two are the same size. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that they were, but you know what brands have like, depending on what they are, they can have different, even sizes can be different. So <coughs> I will go with the biggest first. And this is, I don't know what that size is. Where's my six? <laughs> I had a six here someplace. That says six. I think these are fours and these are fours. So this is the six. This is an Aeropostale. And looky here, you guys. Oh, I'll move these ones out of the way. So you can see. See the difference? <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, this is how you really know, like, where you've come. I even have like an eight or nine size shorts and I'm like, oh my freaking gosh. I didn't even remember that. And my wedding dress was a size 16. Yeah. So that, you know, how you guys didn't know who was in the wedding? That was me. That was freaking me. Yeah, I know I look totally different now, but. <laughs> yeah, this used to fit me. And actually I used to really think these were like me when I was thin because when you get from like a 10 or a 9 and you're down to a 6, this is like 6 slim straight. So I was like so happy and so proud of myself and you know rightfully so because you can't always see the destination. I mean you can't always like be there. Sometimes it's the, it's the whole destination, you know, to the, the journey. So if you're still in that stage, don't, don't feel bad, you know, cause I was there too and I was up to 162. So, you know, I don't try to get bad on people that are overweight and heavy. I'm not trying to be rude, but you know, the ones that sit there and brag about it and are like proud feederism types and stuff. Now, those are disgusting. Now, those I won't, like, support because, honestly, it's it's even beyond just the looks. It's, like, your health. And the guys know? are even worse. And there are males that are, like, instigating it. It's, like, that's something you should not, like, sit there and support and be feeding your woman. Like, because if I'm full, you best believe I ain't going to take another bite. I'll freaking maybe bite your finger off so you freaking leave me alone. But I'm not going to take more food in if I'm full. That's the whole point, you know? should stop when you're full so that you can get rid of this. This is excess. 
And, you know, I realized that in order to live healthy, you don't have to eat everything that society says you should eat. You don't have to eat certain amount of full, full, you know, everything on your plate, all your stuff. If you're full, then freaking just throw it away. I don't really get bad on things like that. I don't feel bad, like, telling me that other kids are starving in other countries is not going to make me not eat my food if I'm, like, stuffed to the gills. Like, when I'm full, I don't even get to the stuffed if I can help it. You know, if we go out somewhere, sometimes I do. But, like, in our main every day, I don't, I don't do that, you know? I don't... <laughs> I eat my little meal and I'm satisfied. We eat vegetables and then we eat some little main meal and it fills me up, you know, and I might have a snack later after I do my cerebital and I wait that certain amount of time, but yeah, otherwise, no. These were my, sorry. these were my size two. This is from Express, which is one of my favorite places to go for my jeans. Or no, these were size four, sorry. <laughs> these are size fours. And as you can see, they're still bigger than me now. <laughs> and I also have fours in, this is Signature from Levi's. Levi Strauss Signature Jeans. And these are four Mrs. Mediums. Okay, honey. Can you just leave mine in the microwave, please? Right. It's going to be a minute. Okay. I don't want it getting cold. All right. So, yeah. These are those. And, you know, these are ones that I had right before these. And I really felt good when I was down to these. Because I think I was in my 120s. So, when I'm, like, 120, I can always, like, grab those if I have to. But these are my newest ones. And they are size two, everybody. So yeah, I'm like, I think these are express two. And I have one pair that's from China. And it's a size three. And for a long time, it wouldn't even go past my legs. And I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to be back and I'm going to wear those and show you the difference because these you saw fit me perfect. I just want you to see that they fit pretty well. You know, they're they're pretty loose a little bit. Um, so, and I was wearing a size 2 jeans in my headshot, so I think I'm mainly a size 2. But um, those jeans are from China, and I'll show you that sometimes it doesn't mean it's that size because our female fashion is kind of, like, whack. <laughs> When it comes to like being a set amount, it's not very good at that. So if you're a size this and that and a size something else in another brand, then don't feel bad because that sometimes is just the way our female fashions are. You know, every designer has their own set amount. So I will be back. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> Do you miss me? Oh. Sorry. This is my um shorts that I told wait no, these are my normal shorts, never mind. But I will show you these were actually a size seven and they like pick, fit me perfect. They're not like that big, extra big. So, you know, it just goes to show you that some brands, you know, they're weird. And this is a size three, yeah. Look at how freaking, I can barely lift my leg, like, <laughs> look at how tight it is on my, on my pants, like, I have freaking stick thin legs, so, I've always kind of had that, I've always been told I have way thin legs and arms, because it's just my genetics, and I have big, you know, but, <laughs> but so, you know, the fact that these are so tight, you know, and at one point they didn't fit up. Um, look at how thin my leg is. Like you can see how thin it is right here. And these wouldn't even go up. I mean, I could barely get it like 
past here. And so I was like, oh my gosh, how are these even able to? Because I always knew I usually can fit things 100% over my legs. Now, when it comes up to my, you know, butt and everything else, maybe not, but... <laughs> But this is this pants and it fits me but very snug. So, you know, when I get down to like 110, I might fit it nicely. I, like I said, I want to go down to 105, but who knows? But I think I am getting like slimmer in my waist and everything, but still going to take more time. But we have been using that stuff and I've been doing new workouts that I think is helping me. But yeah. That's what it looks like, everybody. It's like extremely tight, so. But at least it fits. You know, I'm, I'm just happy that it does that. And, you know, it's a step. And I realize it's all progress. progress. It's like, that's how it is in life, you know? So I just... So don't sweat the small stuff and you know, you'll eventually get there and then you'll be able to look back on all your clothes and you'll be able to say, that's why sometimes I keep them for motivation so that I can say, yeah, I'm losing, you know, I'm not that same size six girl. I'm not that same size 16 dress girl. You know, I'm petite now. I'm what I'm supposed to be is I'm not really that big anyways. I don't really have that broad of shoulders or size, you know, I'm short, I'm 5'1", and very small, and it runs in my family, so I don't really have big hips either, so I think that's why I can fit in these tiny, tiny of sizes. If a woman has any hips at all, I guarantee 100% she is not going to get her booty into these jeans, okay? So, if you got booty, don't even, girl, don't even try, because these things are like... And I don't have any hips. Like, my whole thing goes, Shoo. it's not very big. So, <laughs> I can't imagine anyone. But, you know, the Chinese are really small. So, they don't have a lot of size around them in that area. Or any areas. So, yeah. I think maybe they go based on their own sizing. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm a size 2 in America. <laughs> But yeah, I'm hopeful to get to zero before like within a couple months. So that's my goal. And 105, maybe. That would be a good weight for someone my size, I think. So I hope that you're having a great day and staying out of trouble, but having a good, you know. You can go to the bars if you're legal and of age. And you have your IDs. I have to have my ID because half the time they don't trust me. So, but yeah. Sayonara.